The Big Show on Hauraki. Thanks to Night and Day. For the best milkshakes, thick shakes and super thick shakes. Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hauraki Big Show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Oh, g'day, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this uh, Wednesday afternoon. It is the 7th of February 2024, and you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show, brought to you by night. Mm-hmm. Day. Mogi. Hey. Uh, let me. Can you stand up for a sec? Sure. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, no pants, too. <laughs> yeah. Wearing his uh, tight. I'd say grey, grey singlet, uh, shorties. Blue. Uh, also, looks like you got a bit of a tan over the last couple of days. How's life, mate? You're yeah, go pretty grousy, you mad dog, you sick, sick son, son of, of a bee. <laughs> yeah, had a good few days, man. It's been a beautiful patch of weather we've been enjoying. Absolutely. Isn't it? It's just lovely, mate. Really lovely, and I uh, had a beautiful Waitangi day. We'll be getting into that shortly. And, uh, yeah, just loving life. How about you, Keezy? Ah. Oh. G'day, fellas. Yeah, life's been great. Been away camping for a few days. Seen a bit of sun. You notice my tan? Hey. Well, I was just going to say, the first thing I noticed when I came in today, Keezy, was you've got massively dark rings under your eyes. And I've never seen that before. And I'm not saying for a second that you got on it when you went on your camping trip. But, jeez, it looks like it. Well, that's the first thing you notice. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, I've tanned up quite a lot. Yeah, I well, I was thinking you were looking a bit pale, but oh. it, was, it was just the big dark rings under your eyes, which I've never noticed before. What's going on there? Sinus issues? Nah, my sinuses are working sweet as, man. Um, but I'll admit it was pretty full on when you tie in, you know, one of the great Kiwi pastimes, which is drinking responsibly, uh, and also an ear bed and direct sunlight for three days. Yeah, oh. sure. You know, so no one's going to really come out of that looking good. The, the one thing I find with camping, there's a lot of admin, Mogi. Is there? Yeah, oh, yeah, there is. A lot of stuff that you need to organise and be sort of have everything sorted okay. out. Okay. Uh, and then, particularly if you're like massively hung over and keezy the next day, you know, and it's windy and raining, you have to pack it all up and then drive oh. back. Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh, amazing. yeah. Well, luckily I'm not a walking shambles, so the pack down wasn't too bad, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, thanks, fellas. <laughs> I'm, uh, How you going, Jace? You look great. Those well, bags actually, under your eyes. Actually, I've, I've got some spinal issues, which I'll talk about later on in the show, yeah. uh, which is sort of concerning me just to do with my spinal jelly. But what I want the people out there to know is everyone that contacts us on 3483 or sends us a talk back on the iHeartRadio app or, or gives us a call on 0800 Hodaki goes in the draw for a $50 night mm, day voucher but where are you listening to this show New Zealand what's your name and most importantly what are you wearing text us 3483 and let's get some tunes in us stick fist the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed, The Cure there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. South Africa, 180 for five. For those of you interested in the cricket, what are the people saying on the text machine, Keezy 3483? Yeah, a lot of texts coming through. Subsequently, all of them now in the draw for a $50 night. Mm, day voucher. Hey, you mad bitches. I'm in whoa, the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. What kind of show do you think whoa. this is, man? Back that up, rewind that, Keezy, and start again. Oh, jeez. Unbelievable. Hey, you mad bitch. I'm in the big D. I agree. Big D? Yeah, Dunedin. Back it up, Keezy. Oh, oh God. Hey, you mad <laughs> I'm in the big <laughs> high vis and boots. Please say hi to Dave for me. I miss his face. He's a big, sick son of a <laughs> Cheers from Ben. Oh, cheers, Ben, man. Yeah, good stuff, Ben. You filthy mouth son of a bitch. Hang on. Yeah, g'day, your backbone. has just decided to wear a mask in Auckland today. It's burning rubbish. Smoke doesn't taste as good as the darts do. Cheers. No, I have a crack, man. Yeah, get into just, it, just mate. suck it down, mate. Harden up. G'day, fellas. Mad dog Razza here in Wellington, drinking a couple of steinies in the sun, wearing a look of smug satisfaction. <laughs> Cheer to the boys. Just, I just want to make the point, too. It is a beautiful day here in Auckland City, Mogi. And it has been lovely weather over the last couple of days. All those people out there, who's been getting massive D oh, in the yeah. last couple of days? Vitamin D. Yeah. 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 Pardon? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that yeah. one. Keisha. Well, obviously, I've been getting heaps of D uh, over there in Coromandel all weekend because oh, I'm yeah. camping. Ha, ha, hey. Ha, hey. Ha, hey. I saw on the first night you didn't get much D, though. No, the first day, just as we set up, it absolutely pelted with rain and was extremely windy and then went away. And then came oh. back again. <gasps> and then went away. And then came back wow. again. Wow. Uh, but like, three days after that, bloody beautiful, uh, lot of, a lot of shirt off action for me because I've got a rip. 
Jace. Oh God, <laughs> I've got I a really. Didn't say anything. I've got a massive uh, like shirt tan where if you take off this t-shirt I'm wearing, yeah. it's like I'm wearing a white t-shirt. Right. Um, so I decided to even that it's out. It's like you're wearing a white t-shirt with um, two pictures of some burnt meat patties on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which would be a weird T-shirt, but I'd buy one. And if I've um, if I've got apparently two burnt meat patties, I mean, I could at least burn them. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So that'd be on. like super burnt meat patties. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. yeah exactly, fellas. You, you guys are picking it up. Uh, and so, but what I didn't realize is I was wearing lots of sunblock because I'm a sunblock guy. Oh yeah. However, there's one spot I didn't put the sunblock. Oh no. In my belly button. Uh. So that's something you don't think about. Uh, you actually get burnt inside your belly button. Have you got a, you've got one of those mad gross outies though, eh? <laughs> no, you do. I've seen your belly button. It's I actually disgusting. have an outie, but that's a hernia. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was going to say, because you're saying you put a lot of block on, clearly not on that massive snods, Keezy, because it's uh, <laughs> she is radiating today. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame you don't like camping actually because you could just lie down on the ground, someone throw a sheet over you, and you're basically in a tent. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so spent a lot of time on the beach, came away uh, with just a bright red belly button. Wow. I've never um, heard of that. No, neither. And so next time I have to get a whole lot of sunblock on my finger there and stuff it in and just sort of work it around with sunblock there and get it all blocked up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So tell me, were there a few couple of mornings there, sort of steamy hungover in the in the uh, tent mornings? That's always the worst yes. thing about it is Definitely. that you go away, you get hammered, and then the sun comes up, and by 9.30 you're absolutely cooking. Yeah, it's, so she was pretty hot. We were... Uh, underneath a tree but the issue we have is it's New Zealand it's peak season Hahe is beautiful so everyone was there it was absolutely reamed at about 8am in the morning 8am in the morning yep. oh god when I needed to go to the bathroom and take care of some business Steamer. so did uh, about a hundred middle aged dudes who'd been on the gas all night right and it was just a whole lot of dudes running a train one after the other on this toilet block of three stalls but having said that it that was would, heroin that would have been the perfect cover for your steamer though uh, because you were saying you get bowel anxiety <laughs> when, you're, when, you're, when, Jace, when you're outside when you're outside when you're outside your like, toilet to do to do to do <laughs> uh, well it's good that you had a good time Keezy yeah can I just say it's so good to be back yeah, uh, yeah I want to hear some more details about nah. that holiday No, nah, we can just leave it there nah okay here's the Kaiser Chiefs the Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Blur there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. The time is 4.36. We're talking Waitangi Day and uh, what we all got up to, quite frankly. That's quite frank of you. Thanks, mate. Good on you, mate. Um, yeah, we managed to uh, to get away for the, for the night, actually. A couple of nights, got back today. And uh, uh, got back and the place was in a hell of a state. Right. Oh, no. um, I hate that. Yeah. I always clean before I go. Yeah, I know yeah. that's sort of my thing as well. But we just wanted to get out of the joint, and um, so we went up to we went up north, um, all the way up to uh, Cape Reinga. Wow, that's quite far for two yeah, nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's quite far. It's. I think people sort of think that it's only a couple of hours up there. Sure. But it's actually from Auckland. It's another nineteen hour drive. Nineteen. Yeah. Did you know that? No, I think it's, it's a long drive, man. Massive. That and that was in the teeter truck, so we were in comfort. But man, right, and absolutely going flat out. Right. So like driving 40. as fast as we possibly could responsibly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, but anyway, we sort of got up there to Cape Reinga about nineteen hours uh, into it, and went, ah, oh, forgot the kid. Frank, oh, what? Not f- who? Who's Frankly? Janet. Janet? Yeah. Right. Uh, my daughter, Janet. Tinker? Uh, and no, we had Tinker, thank God. Oh. I would have been worried sick. And uh, well, we've spoken about it here before, but she's quite switched on, my daughter, so I wasn't that bothered about it, even though she's four and a half. Um, pretty clued up. And uh, so, yeah, I thought it will be all good. And we got back in today, and she had had a hoor of a party. Yeah. An absolute hoor of a party. Well, like a house party. A house party. Wow. Yeah, the place was, an, the holes in the wall. Yeah. Um, she had all her mates over from um, early childhood education place. You know what I mean? Sure, yeah, Got yeah. them all over and it was just hell for leather. They've gotten into the sugar, you see. Right. And then they just drawn all over the walls. Um, my wife recently bought my daughter a pack of... Um, Bath crayons, right? They'd yeah. gotten into those, drawn all over the bath. Oh, You're no. saying there was a a, 
a, a coil in one of the bedrooms. Oh, well, some of these kids, man, I don't know what the parents are doing, but they're still wearing nappies at four and a half. Sure, yeah. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, hang on, you left your kid behind for two nights. Yeah, you know, but so I've, I've really raised her right. to, to be able to so know, she sort of look after the joint. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Well, she's smart enough to be able to um, send out a group email to invite all her mates over, right? Exactly. Yeah. So set they, up a WhatsApp group. Do they even have an email? I didn't even realise you'd have an email. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And talk to all the parents and say it was all fine and tickety-boo. And that, and that we were going to be home. That was yes. the thing that hurt the most. Um, but, yeah, just absolutely trash the joint. So I don't really know what to do <sighs> moving forward. See, do I trust her? Can I trust her now? Well, I, I think it's a rite of passage. Yeah. Especially when you're that age. What, four? Yeah, and a half. Uh, four and a half. I, I think it's a rite of passage, uh, Mogi. And, yeah. And it's one of those things you go, okay, I'll take that on the chin. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do, I guess I shoulder some of the responsibility. Well, yeah, you left well, yeah. you know. And hang on, the other thing too... Who that hasn't I've, left their kids behind? That's true. You Not know what I mean? Four, that's though. True. This is like the plot of Home Alone almost. It was like that. Yeah. yeah. Since she was younger, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. How many friends does she have? Because when I was four, I think I'd like, I didn't have Well, the friends. trouble is that it sort of all gets out on the network. So she's got about, you know, 30 or 40 close mates down at the um, daycare there. Right. But then it just won't... Every, it's like you remember being a teenage, Keezy. Yeah. Teenager, and there'd be these huge parties on, everyone saying, nah, Keezy, you stay home, but we're going to this party. Oh, it's yeah. It's like that. There'd be hundreds of the bastards there. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. So there was, there was quite a few, I think. And neighbors they all, were terrified. They all turn up, I... I Dave invited me. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dave, okay. Just on you, Keezy. I mean, well, we don't have gotta, to. We can just keep gotta, it on You've got to remember that you had a very isolated childhood, though. You right. know what I mean? You were often sickly. So, you know, and I when I spoke to Mon about that, just very I don't want to digress here from <laughs> right, Mogi's feels like story. You do. Uh, but she said she was always a bit reticent about letting you out because of the cold air and going to parties and germs and stuff. Yeah, well, when um, I was four, that, absolutely, yes. Um, but yeah, I, I reckon just that's all good, Mogi. Yeah, you know what I mean. I was ex- experiencing a little bit of guilt, but <laughs> well, I kind of feel like you should just have a wee bit, just because it was what two whole nights. What do you know about it? Well, that she's four. Yeah, you haven't had any kids, man. Yeah, yeah I haven't kids. actually. It's true, I haven't. So your sperm's all right. As far as I'm aware. Yeah. yeah. Are they? I think so. You've been drinking a lot. <sighs> oh, this is terrible, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is a chemical problem. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Yes, indeed, the Black Keys there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. The time is exactly 4.49 in South Africa. Fellas falling apart for those of you that are interested. Now the 100,000K goat. Yeah. Your chance to play for $100,000. All you need to do is pick your goat, Mogi. Just pick your goat, man. Pick your goat, dude. You can pick... Five goats, because it can be hard to pick your goat. Yes. So five goats. A little group of five goats there. Five chances. Five opportunities. But guys, just quickly, what what does goat mean? People might think we're talking about actual goats. Greatest of all time, Yeah, Kenzie. tunes. Your five favourite songs of all time. Uh, we are halfway through the voting stage. Things are starting to ramp up. And once again, it is your chance to win the uh, opportunity to play for 100,000 big ones. 100,000 big ones. Too yeah, that, that means uh, dollars. Oh. I, I was with Angie today and we had a little chit-chat about my goats and stuff. It's great, you know, and I, I'm, I'm quite fascinated by, you know, finding out what other people are into and all that sort of stuff. So if you do post your five, do it on your social media or something like that so everyone gets to see what your choices are. Good but, idea, Jason. Yeah, thanks, mate. To vote for your goats, uh, text the word GOAT, that is spelled G-O-A-T, and send that on through to 3483. Uh then you can nominate your five, as we say, share it on Sosh Med as well. What's just out of curiosity, Jace, what what did you have in yours? Because I just imagine five wounders. I had uh Sex Tape by Deftones. Yeah. Rear View Mirror. By Pearl Jam. By Pearl Jam and um Comfortably Shagged. Oh. By Head Like a Hole. Yes. Yeah, nice. I what about the other I, two? I just I just did the three. Oh, today. but that's not the rules. Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal my my oh. final two. I'm on uh, tenterhooks uh, over the next couple of days. Oh, there, Maggie. smart. I might do it on my social media actually. Oh, smart. Uh, on the Insta or something like that. Yeah, it's a great idea. At Hoity J. <laughs> Uh, as long as people are texting go to 3483 start voting now because in a week and a half's time we are going to be ripping into that countdown and then not long after that someone's going to be winning a big old prize oh yeah where's this going to be in the goat this is one for you Jace bit of van yeah you had this as your throbber didn't you one time 
Panama. Yeah, yeah it lost. Yeah, that, was, that was Booger Beasley's fault, that one. Yeah. Don't offload it to someone else. He told me to use that one because yeah. I asked him. But I told him that you were going to ask him and he did it as a joke. And uh, Panama. I just... Such a tune, man. It is a tune. It's a tune. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Van Halen there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday throbber, afternoon. Throbber, throbber, throbber. God, Keezy, come on, mate. Pull it together. <laughs> Coming up after five o'clock, uh, we're going to have another winner who's going to see who's going to join us on the Big Show boat trip. That's oh. right. Uh, that's going to be happening on the 15th, of course, this month. Next Thursday, I think that is, Mogi. Truth. That's right. Thanks to Maritime New Zealand and also Safer Boating. So if you aren't in the draw for that yet, go to hodaki.co.nz and enter there. Uh, Pugsan also is going to give us a review of Laneway, which he went to yesterday. Yep. Uh, my daughter caught up with him there. Oh, wow. And they're in the moshi together there, oh, yeah. uh, Mogi. And also... Some serious news on uh, old... Oh, is that a wicket? Oh, uh, Hoity J Spine. A uh, bit of Quasimodo action happening oh, there, which oh, is not, oh, not good. And my, oh. a bit of an update on my uh, my finger as well, which yeah. is, uh, you know, so that'll be something for the punters out there. Yeah, more like uh, sink to uh, Sink their teeth into... <laughs> all after five! <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from four. On Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you massive backbones. Hope your Wednesday's going along tickety boo. You're listening to the big show brought to you by night. Mm-hmm. Day. Remember, everyone that texts through on 3483 or gives us a talk back on the iHeartRadio app or gives us a call on 0800 Hodaki goes in the draw for a $50 night. Mm-hmm. Day voucher. Uh, also, don't forget that this entire month, every single Tuesday. Thick shakes at night and day are just three dollars. So good, holy! It's perfect weather for it actually at the moment. The old, it the old shakes, it is beautiful. For those of you interested, too, uh, two nineteen for eight South Africa at the moment. So it looks like it's all being wrapped up very nicely, does, Mogi. Does. Uh, that'll be finished by the end of the day, I imagine. Coming up next, by the way, we're going to talk to Pugsan. He was at Laneway, yeah, uh, and just you know how it was. If you were at Laneway yesterday, text us three four eight three. Give us your review. How did it go? Or give us a call on 0800 Hodaki. Or uh, talk back on your iHeartRadio app. Yeah, totally. Or a call on 0800 Hodaki. Yeah, we said that, Keezy. What? God. Here's White Stripes. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Yes, indeed. Cold Chisel there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon, 12 minutes past five o'clock. Uh, we've got Pugsan uh, in the main studio with us now. And Pugsan, it's weird not having you in the main studio. Really? Yeah, I, I sort of miss it when you sort of... Because you come back in and stuff and it's like, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, thanks, yeah, man. Yeah, oh, well, you know, I miss it. You know, I yeah, love yeah. it when I'm in we here. We should oh, if we can so. do a uh, What's on the TV with Mogi. Little sting there, and just get our little harmonies oh, going. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tony, because they were so good when you did that, man. They can, worked so can well. Can we not have the Japanese music be my theme music? But you emailed me and specifically asked for this to be underneath you at all times. <laughs> my God, because you're pug son. Keezy. What? I mean, really I got place, in you know? jip about the whole Chinese burn thing. Don't say oh, it again. Oh, say it again, God. Jace. Now, listen, Jeez. you went to Laneway yesterday. I did. Uh, how was it, my friend? You said you got a, a lot of yummy boy action. I did. I got a lot of yummy boy action. There were lots of yummy boys there, um, but also got amongst... <laughs> we should probably clarify what that means. Oh. No, no. Why? Yeah, yeah, no, we're all good. Carry on. <laughs> um, but no, I saw a lot of live bands as well. Yes. Uh, Unknown Mortal Orchestra, Dope Lemon, uh, to name a few. Um, that's to name two. That's to name a two. Um, and also some other artists like uh, Corday, who's a rapper. Oh, yeah. Stormzy, who's a rapper. He's oh, he very is. captivating. Yeah, he is. Um, he's he's a bit, uh, isn't Stormzy, he? isn't yeah, he? Yeah, you and uh, Stormzy go way back. Yeah, hey? we do, mate. We yeah, do. Yeah, I've got yeah. some stories about old Stormzy. Um, Please tell us one. Oh, no. This is Pug oh, Sun's yeah, yeah, yeah. segment. No, you go ahead, bro. That's oh, good. look, no. Did he get his shirt off for your pugs? Ah, uh, he did get his shirt off at one yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also, good he's, just, he's built like a brick shit house. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. amazing, eh, um, like that. But it was a great time. You know, obviously, I went to Laneway last time at Albert Park, and so it was a bit of a different game at Western Springs. Obviously, much bigger. There were a mm. lot more people. Sure. Yeah. Um, but no, it was a really fun time. Did they have a facility there to test your A-class drugs, Pugs? Um, you know what? I wasn't looking. I was dead sober yesterday, uh, and I did a hoity J and ran three Red Bulls, which was a did huge you? mistake. Oh. Never drunk so many energy drinks in my life. But, you know, you get to my age, and you sort of go to a festival, and it's all day long, and you're like, okay... All right, slog it out. We got the next. We 
got the next act we've got to go see. Well, it's interesting you say that because my daughter went to it yesterday as mm. well, uh, Lane Wayne. She, she she ran into you, Pakistan. Yeah. And you were off your head in the moshi. Yeah. And you were just swinging your arms and going absolutely loose. I mean, she was in the moshi too. She was going pretty hammer and tongs yeah. as well. But yeah. uh, she said you were just... <laughs> She said she thought you were on the day Chura. Yeah. Well, I didn't even know what that is, but... Yeah. She said at one yeah. point you were, like, trying to dig up the soil and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, what's going on? You are trying to on, dig, a, dig a hole all the way back to Tokyo. Yeah. yeah. But that's not how it works, man. That's a that's an old wives' tale. Oh, that I see. Okay, I think I was a little bit misguided there from the taurine and the guarana and the red bulls. <laughs> uh, but it was a really fun time. Your daughter wasn't happy with you, Jace. Oh, wasn't she? Yeah, because you keep talking about your shaft on the big show. Oh, and she's yeah. made it a rule for you. Um, and uh, she also to discuss rec- it. I'm thinking of doing a podcast with my daughter, Mogi. Oh, so yeah. we've been having a bit of a tutu with that. And I found there were some quite profound revelations when we were chatting. Oh, yes. Namely also that I had I used to have a Katy Perry... Um, obsession. Obsession, yeah. yeah like, unhealthy for obsession. Her, for her music, not her... What? I mean, for her music. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Not her what? Um, I didn't know Katy Perry was at Laneway. Because I thought she, that's but what she we wasn't, were talking that's about what I right found now. out. Um, oh, okay. But what we want to know for the people that went along, uh, give us a text on 3483 or give us a call on 0800 Hodaki. How did you find it? How was your experience? Yeah. So I thought I'd just come in at the end there and just chuck my voice on a wee bit just so Pug Sun doesn't get the spotlight on him the whole time. A few fans of the big show there, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oddly enough, it was fun. Did you enjoy D's? P- Pugs, did you enjoy D's? I mean, I, that that's the re- one reason I would have gone was for D's. I thought you were busy doing your fitness, Jase. You love fitness, eh? <laughs> Wasn't Dragon playing? <laughs> Imagine Dragons? <laughs> nah, Dragon did. De- yeah. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Guns mm, roses there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. The time is 5.26. I have the most immense hankering for cheese balls. God, I haven't had any cheese balls for so long, Mogi. Right. And we were chatting about them earlier on in the show. Yeah. And it's triggered me. Is this what we're doing here? And I just found out that um, Keezy has a half a packet of cheese balls in his car. Yeah. yeah. So we park in the same place. Keezy, can you give me that half a packet? Absolutely I'll give, not. I'll give you 10 bucks. 10? Yeah. Now, listen, fellas, um, you'll know that I've been having a bit, of, uh, a bit of an issue with my spine over this last year and a half. Yeah. Basically, uh, fundamentally, I have what they, what they call shaggers back. Yeah. Uh, which comes, of course, from my rooting days. And, um, you know, it's been causing me a fair amount of jip. And what essentially that entails is a diminishing and evaporating of your spinal jelly. Yeah. I didn't even know you had jelly in your spine. Eh? Oh, That's yeah. Well, yeah, you need the jelly in your spine, Keezy, otherwise right. you get your... And what's happening is I'm compressing Mogi. Yes. Uh, and I went to see the... Um, not that you'd notice. I mean, I'm still the same height. Yeah. That I've always been. Well, that'll be weird. Um, but I had to go and see the surgeons today, and their concern is that I'm developing what they call Quasimodo syndrome. I don't know if you remember Quasimodo. Yeah, from uh, the Hunchback of, of Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. Yeah. His first name was Quasi, wasn't it? Yeah. His last name was, was Modo. Modo. Yeah, and a great movie that was too. Yeah. Uh, and it's been my show. You did the play, didn't you? I did do the play, yeah, yes, actually. Um, but I put a pillow in my back there for that oh. one. I, I didn't have shakers back then. I was only 10, uh, actually. But um, the issue that I have, which has exacerbated the whole thing mm. uh, with my shakers back, is that I've got a massive head. Oh, yeah, yeah and so you what do. I've, so what I've, what I've do, got actually. is my head is pulling down. And your honker. And, and, and you know, well, I've got a massive honker on my head, which is causing sort of gravity to pull down, which is creating... A curvature in my spine. Wow. Uh, which is later going to develop, they said, into quite a serious hunch. Stooped. Um, so what they're thinking of doing, because there was chat about replacing my spine with a baboon spine. Yeah, I heard that chat. Um, and there was also some chat. Really? And then they went, that's not going to fit. Back paddock? Um, there was also chat about it ended up being maybe a spider monkey. Oh, Wow. Uh, well, cause just because of my size, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, spider monkey sort of suited me better than Even a baboon. Still, wouldn't they have to use about three spider monkeys and tie them together? Well, that's what they were having to yeah. do, which they said is a lot of admin, yeah. and they had a real shortage of spider monkeys. Well, are medically available spider monkeys even a thing? Oh, yeah, totally, man. Really? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. they get them on the darts as well. 
So they, they have them hanging off at like 80 a day, smoking those darts, see how long it takes to knock them over, and then you can sort of use them for parts. Oh, right. They're sort of like a wreck as like they operate out the back of Auckland Hospital. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. Okay. And you'll find on every spider monkey's ID, they are, they're either a spine donor or not. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they all are. And incidentally, I encourage people, if you're not a donor, be a donor. Um, so that, But what they're proposing is a con- what they call a concertina spine. Which is basically like a, a metallic concertina scenario. An accordion. It, well, yeah, like an accordion. Will yeah. it make noises? It, it can do, but the only downside of that is I'll have a lever coming out of my hip, which right. I'll have to wind to sort of stretch the spine out. Right. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't want a lever coming out of my hip. So well, you need one on, a lever on either side, otherwise you end up with a really humongously ripped arm on one side. Yeah, well, that's true. I mean, because it's quite a lot of weight that it's I'm not stretching out is it? there. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's, it's technical, and you you know you add that to my uh, mallet finger. Yeah, Gee, I'm just a medical wonder at the moment. Yeah, uh, there's so, so much going on. So and all that's caused from having a massive dome. No, it's caused primarily from my shagging. But then obviously shagging the, back, yeah. the whole yeah. bobblehead situation isn't helping. Oh, no, the bobbleheads just come into it later on the line. Right, uh, but, yeah. and they said to me, you know, so many people are unaware of them. We should. We should, as a public health notice, put it out there, excessive rooting right. uh, can affect the spine. But that's very much a, a, an historical yeah. issue. Oh, yes, it's not an issue anymore. No. Yeah, and in yeah. fact, I don't anymore because, of course, yeah. of my spine. Right, yeah, is yeah. that why? Um, I mean, I, I self... We're, we're, we're about, digressing. Where, about, whereabouts is this surgeon, by the way, with the spider monkeys? I'd love to go check it out. Remuera. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Whereabouts yeah. in like the hospital there? Well, I'm not. <sighs> There's no hospital in Remuera, Keezy. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, they've got. Uh, they usually have between fourteen and sixteen hundred spider monkeys. Well, keep us up to date, man. Yeah, I will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, now listen. Coming up, we're going to call our big show boat trip winner. One of, yeah. So if you want to join the crew, go to hodaki.co.nz right Arr. now and have your phone on ready to go. Arr. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Kings of Leon there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. The time is uh, 5.39. Uh, is he out, Mogi? He's not. It's oh, been right. dropped in the field. Oh. <laughs> the last Shandles. South African wicket. Um, their number 11's just having an absolute tonk. Hey, now listen, the the Big Show boat trip, which is happening next Thursday, the 15th of February. We're going to be doing a broadcast out on the water. Looking forward to that, are we, fellas? Yeah. I am. It's the day before um, Valentine's Day, which means for me it's the love boat. Actually, yeah. we should all bring our partners on the boat. Oh, that's a good idea. What do you reckon, fellas? Uh, I'll probably leave my wife at home just because she'll have work. Oh, there'll be heaps of dudes on there anyway, man. Yeah. Lewis, totally. you, Lewis, you mad bastard. How's life? Not too bad, fellas. How you doing? Yeah, good, thanks, Lewis. Uh, what do you do for a crust, mate? I'm uh, currently voluntarily unemployed. Oh, oh backbone. backbone! Good on you, mate. I love volunteering. It's Pretty actually a good, t- you know, it's a good thing to take some time out and think about what, I mean, what do you normally, what's your area of expertise, Lewis? Uh, I've been working in education and have been overseas. But sure. I just... Uh, Did- Move back to the homeland with the missus and take some time to tour around the country. Oh, nice, mate. Yeah. Where's your missus from there? Uh, she's Peruvian. Oh! oh backbone. Nice. Yeah, oh, massive backbone. backbone. And especially, you know, teaching, you need to take some time out from that, eh? Yeah, that's right. Good on you, mate. Now, listen, we're going to be on a boat. What skills are you going to bring on the boat for us? Oh, I'm pretty good at uh, handling seasickness. Um, take a bit of a nap when the... When that kicks in, good on you. Um, That's good. Uh, got some fishing, kayaking, uh, body surfing while we're out there, catch a few waves, that kind of stuff. Yeah, great, yeah, good so, stuff, Lewis. It sounds like an experienced mariner. Uh, who will you bring on the boat with you, Lewis? If we let you aboard on the, as part of the crew, mate. I'd probably bring my partner, Denise. Oh, oh good. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's really good because a lot of people are bringing their partners, which they I'm are. happy about. Yeah, so you were stoked about that. I, hey? I reckon we should support guys like Lewis who are bringing their partners on by bringing our partners. You should definitely bring your wife. Why do you Z. want me to bring my wife? I don't. I, I'm just saying you should definitely bring your wife. Well, the good news is, uh, Lewis, mate, you're officially on board the crew. Woohoo! 
Yeah. Good on you, mate. Hey, uh, yeah, look, bloody f- awesome. <laughs> look forward to meeting you next Thursday, Lewis. Out in the water there, buddy. Yeah, me too. Good on you, mate. Stay- good, Thanks very much. Stay no on. Pugs will look after you. What a backbone. Yeah, Keezy, can you just, in terms of when people say they're bringing their partners on, can you just tone it down a little I bit? D- what? What did I do? Because I was like, oh, who are you going to bring? And then he was like, Dennis. My, wa- my wife, Den- Dennis. Uh, yeah. And I was like, yes. That's all good, isn't it? It's just stoked that, you know. He's Yeehaw. Got, yeah, he's got yeah. friends in that. I tell you what, it is going to be a lot of fun. I'm genuinely looking forward to that, boys. And I, and I hope I can do a bit of fishing. Absolutely. A big shout out to Maritime New Zealand and Safer Boating Partners as well. Remember, if you are going out on the water this summer, wear a life jacket, have two forms of waterproof communication, and always check the marine weather forecast. Are you bringing your partner, Mike? Uh, no. Oh. What about you, Jase? Nah. Oh. But you should bring your wife. I was a tune, fellas. A bit of Finley Quay. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. A bit of Pink Floyd for you there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show Wednesday evening. Well, when I say a bit of Pink Floyd Mogi, she was seven minutes long, that tune. Yeah, not um, bad. Yeah, not bad. Speaking of not bad, coming up after six o'clock, of course, as always, uh, what's on the TV with Mike Minogue. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to that as always. That'll be good. And uh, what's for tea, New Zealand, with me, Keezy. <laughs> That's right, New Zealand's favourite dinner-based segment. So please text through on 3483 what you're having for dinner tonight. Oh, yeah. And you could win yourself a fifty dollar night day mm. voucher. Yeah, good stuff. Because you were saying when you were camping there, Keezy, you had, you had some good kai there. Excellent kai, wood yeah, fire what kind pizza. Of kai you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, smash patty burgers, uh, sausies on the barbie. Was yeah, this right. like a sort of house truck scenario, or you know, no, like built into the bar area? I've never been to a camping site where they've had that kind of setup before. That's well, right. it's money for jam, isn't it? Because the vast majority of people can't be bothered cooking. That was totally. Us. And if you've got me. this kind of a setup where you're going to this kind of a joint anyway, it's not like you're an actual, you know, outdoor enthusiast. No, exactly. absolutely, yeah. totally, man. It makes total sense. Well, you know, when I think when I say I go camping, I mean I go deep bush. Yeah, you so, yeah, yeah. You know, thick, 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 you know, thick, 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 and just, um, just with my gun and my, and a little bit of you know and a lighter. Yeah, yeah, just to clear out some of that bush. Um, so, do text through on three four eight three what you're having for dinner, and you could win yourself a fifty dollars night and day voucher. Beautiful. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you massive backbones. You're listening to the Big Show, brought to you by Night and Day. Hey, uh, by the way, the New Zealand won. Uh, New Zealand won the first Test match by two hundred and eighty-one runs. Pretty comprehensive there, Mogi. Not bad. Not That's bad. good. So, does that mean there'll be a, uh, a fresh episode of the BYC tomorrow? Then going over it all. Oh, yeah. I hope so. Yeah, quite possibly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. What do you mean, Abs- possibly? It should be extra long. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. Now, listen, fellas, on the podcast outro, which is a podcast we do outside of the radio show, before we do the radio show, we got into a bit of budget chat. That's right, because uh, uh, um, you guys really. Are, Harsh mm. with your money, you like to know where every cent's going. Yeah, you get the whip out, and you know it's pretty full on. It was mm-hmm. quite, it's quite shocking for me actually to hear you guys chat about yeah, it. Yeah, because you've got no control over your money, have you? You're saying your wife sort of sorts all that sort of stuff out, and you're not allowed to know what goes on. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, here's a clip from today's outro, which is available wherever you get your podcast from. Just search Hodaki Big Show. I think fifty bucks is for fun. But mm. then if I've got gym and all those other expenses, that's an expense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was trying to yeah, argue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I don't have a fun account. No, well, you don't have well, what do you I don't use? have you go fishing. You've got your little fishing. Yeah. Thing. Cheese balls, chicken nibbles. <laughs> actually, I might get some chicken nibblies tonight, actually. A little chicken niblets. You're going to get a pork bun, A couple bun, of little giblets there. I'm not getting a pork bun because uh, my wife will be joining us on the walk, so. My wife. Oh, she's going to be walking with us. Sweet. Yeah, she'll be walking with us. Yeah, well, you go because I have to wait five minutes for her. And I don't want to hold you up, so you go. And oh then I'll no, catch no, no! Up. I'll wait for you guys. It's all good. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Is this like a new thing we're doing on the no, show? No, I just we get on like a house on fire. That's all. Me and you. Yeah, I know. Um, now listen. Coming up next, of course, what's for tea, New Zealand, with me, Keezy. Um, so text her on three four eight three what you're having for tea, and we'll get into that next. In the meantime, here's Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah, cheers. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. New order there on the radio. Hodaki uh, Big Show this Wednesday evening. Well, right now it's time for... 
Oh yeah, hey guys, text here from Steve. <laughs> What's for Team New Zealand? Zealand? With me. Easy. <laughs> Don't add to it, alright? It already sounds great. What keep, do we got there, brother? Keep those texts coming on 3483. What are you having for dinner tonight, Mogi? Uh, I never know, man. Oh, yeah. What about you, Jace? Oh, I haven't found out yet, so we might as well just go straight into the texts. <laughs> or <laughs> No, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. What I am having, I'm having Greek salad, which is apparently, Mogi, the perfect food. Yeah, you keep I, saying that. It's um, not. Why? What does that mean? And also, there's these specialty sausages that we bought. You know, I'm not a big sausage guy, except oh. when I'm on the beach. <laughs> Um, but they're they're big, they're big, but you'd like them, Keezy. Bratwursts. They're really big. Yeah, you know, kind of like that. Uh, so we're going to be having Can those as well. Can you find out well. what the name of those is, man? Because sure. I'll be interested to know what the name of those big sausages um, is. And they're delicious. Are they hot? They're gourmet. They're actually big, a bit, hot they're a bit spicy. Or do you mean hot as in... No, I mean like the temperature of them. Or yeah, do you they'll have be hot. Like cold yeah. sausage. No, I'll be hot with a bit of white bread, a bit of mustard sauce. <laughs> Beautiful. The lemon zest or a bit of cracked pepper. Yeah, totally, man. Are they the Sugma ones? Those German Sugma sausages? Jace. Sugma. Hey, lots of texts coming through on 3483. Uh, make sure you keep them coming and you'll get yourself in the draw for a 50 lot night and day <laughs> voucher. G'day, fellas. What's Sugma? Sugma nuts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice, nailed it. Totally got him. G'day, fellas. Spagbolo. Cheers. Spagbolo. And that's from... Bolos. Davith. Yeah, put, chuck your name on these, team. Yeah, man, Where team. are you? What are you eating? What's your name in that? And is that is that our national dish? Spagbolo? No. no. Nah. What is our national Hungy. dish? Hungy. Yeah, but what's the dish, though? Like a kumara and stuff. Oh, the white plate. On chicken. Uh, g'day, fellas. I'm having bangers. Mmm, mash. Yummo. Cheers, Joe. Oh, cheers, Joe. And Joe's texting in from Stewart Island. This one here is, um, I'm having taco laco. Yeah. And that's from Keezy <laughs> in Dunedin. Yeah, it's Keezy in Dunedin, my cousin. Uh, g'day, guys. Uh, Having oh, cheese toasties tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to put tomato in, though, because it always gets really hot and I burn my mouth oh, on it. does it. do that. Cheers. It does, yeah, oh, why yeah. haven't we talked about that on the radio? Has anybody I, talked about that on the radio I, before? I don't. Yeah, I, I, if I'm going to cheese toasty. It's just cheese. There's no tomato. Onion, though. A little bit of onion. Oh, a little maybe, bit of onion. A little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of cracked pepper. Maybe a bit of sweet chilli sauce. Have you ever put pepperoni in it? <laughs> <laughs> Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Arctic Monkeys there on the radio. Hodaki uh, Big Show on this glorious Wednesday evening. But right now it's time for... What's on the telly with Mike Minogue. Yeah! Here's the thing, man. I mean, let's, no, listen... When Pugsan was here on Tuesday, oh no, what was it? Monday, Monday. sorry, Mogi. Beautiful harmony. God, it was unreal. It was poetic. In fact, it was so good we almost didn't do what's on the TV with Mike Minogue. Oh, sort of like we're doing it was, tonight. It was like, that. that's so good, let's just leave it at that. Sure. And then you come back, Keezy. <laughs> So and it's like Jace. It sounds it's like ratchet. Me doing a terrible one is going to make us actually do the segment we're supposed to do. Supposed to. I watched a show called See? Expats. It's on uh, Prime, <laughs> starring <laughs> starring. Is it Nicole Kidman? Yes. Uh, it's hard to tell these days with her. I'll tell you what. It's very. It's uh, It's set in Hong Kong, Keezy. Hong Kong Keezy. Uh, Hong Kong Keezy. Keezy. Number one something guy. <sighs> Jace. You can't say that. No, that Don't was, make me cancel no, you again. Was... I know it's Hong Kong fooey, but still. Yeah. Um, and it's set over there. She loses it. Her kid goes missing. Something, something, something. It's a real co-production, isn't it, Jason? And, and I say that because the acting is all over the show. Agreed. Some of the most... Horrendous! It's a tough watch, man. I got one ep, one ep down, and I was like, I don't know if I can do this. All the reviews are amazing, yes. and it was like, man, it must get better on these last couple of eps because this sucks. sucks. Yeah, I'm watching it at the moment too, and I concur. Re the acting, it's all over the place, and I and I don't know 
how I feel about Nicole Kidman. Sometimes she's very good, sometimes not so good. I feel and like she's done this role in the last ten things she was in. Yes, there is an element it's of exactly that about it. Exactly the same sort of stuff. Pretty yes. uh, Big Little Lies or whatever it was, and correct. There's just so many of them, and she is very, very good. But you just got to. Yeah, where's her? Um, you know, she should be like a skateboarder or something like that, or a surfer, or yeah, yeah, you know, right. like a big an Lebowski assassin. Type. Assassin, thank yeah, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because on that front, the other female lead whose name I can't really oh. remember, I'm struggling with. I'm, I'm not finding her believable. Oh, is she the yeah, I know the wife know. of the oh, the yes. drunkard. Oh no, yeah, she is. Yeah, horrendous. Yeah, and nothing against them. It's just bad. Yeah. What did you watch, Keezy? Some tedious. Wheat harvesting show, <laughs> or so, you know, country calendar is the highest rated show in New Zealand. Well, yeah, after Dog Squad, yeah, sorry, at Dog Squad and, uh, and Wellington Clash. Paranormal and, and yeah. Wellington Paranormal talk back. Uh, so <laughs> I watched the um, biggest night in pop thing on Netflix yesterday. Oh, how yes. was it? It was super interesting seeing how all those massive ego people worked together. The funniest part for me was halfway through Stevie Wonder, who, even though they're in a room full of stars, he's still like the star. Right. So he comes in and he's really funny and making jokes and stuff. And then halfway through, they've worked for ages on this thing. And he suggests they should change one bit and make it Swahili. Like, as they're just trying to wrangle everyone, he's like, let's change it to Swahili, start singing something random. And then Merle Haggard, who sings The Good Old Boys... He's at the back wearing his cowboy hat and he just says, ain't no good old boy ever sung no Swahili and then just left. <laughs> and they didn't right. even end up doing it. But Mel right. Haggard was like, I'm out of here. Even at the suggestion, I'm yeah. out of here. Yeah, that was a good yeah. call on his behalf. Whereas um, Kenny Rogers hung around, you know, so. Stevie Wonder, though. He was always willing to take a gamble, though. Hey. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. Jace, Jace, that's uh, a reference to his song, The yeah, Gambler. Yeah, I know, The Gambler, oh. yeah. Um, very generous performer, Mogi. And a, and a genius, Stevie Wonder. Oh, and, yeah. and a genius mimic. He basically yes. showed, he showed Bob Dylan how to do his how to part. sing his part. Really? Yeah, because Bob Dylan was like got the fear and couldn't do it and was freaking out. And right. So Stevie Wonder said, "Sing it like this, man." And and Bob Dylan went, "Oh, okay, that's how yeah. I do it." It's right. like how at the start of the show, Jace forgets how to say, "Get out, you mad bastards!" And I sure. do the mimic thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like that. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Soundgarden there on the radio. Hodaki uh, Big Show this Wednesday evening. Now the Big Show 10K Backbone Shout is being drawn this Friday, fellas. That's only two nights away. Uh, and your chance to win $10,000. So you've got to be a part of it. We obviously haven't decided to win it yet. We're going to decide Who's the winner the on winner? Friday. No, um, we haven't decided yet. Oh. And also and we don't decide. Is, and the winner is going to win $10,000 cash, cash, oh. cash. So the winner wins ten grand. Yes. Um, but we don't decide it. We lucky Do we dip w- it. we ring all the losers? Yeah. I'm saying no, Yeah, Pugs will, be, Pugs will be ringing all the losers to say, sorry, bad luck. Your video yeah. wasn't quite up to scratch. Uh, but in order to get yourself in the draw for this Friday's big draw, you have to film yourself yelling backbone. Do it with your workmates or your friends or somewhere interesting. Make it interesting. Uh, chuck it up at hodaki.co.nz or whack it on Instagram and tag us. Uh, and it's all thanks to our mates at Super Liquor. Cheers to Summer. Super Liquor. And cheers to Super Liquor. And you know what they say, Mogi. What do they say? you got to be in to win, mate. They, they uh, also say, you write that down, Keys. Yeah, could you write it's that down? you got to be this in to yeah. win there, Do you know that's Keezy? the one I've written down probably seven times? And also if you could write down, uh, winners are grinners. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What so, about I mean, if you don't, while you're if, winning? If you don't send one in, obviously you're not going to win. No, there's no chance. Sorry, am I writing that one down as well, what you just said? Yes. So if you don't send one in, obviously you're not going to win. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just write that down. Because they actually inadvertently rhymed there. I didn't mean it to rhyme. And then what am I doing with these ones I've written them down? Uh, you screw them up. Okay. Put them in the rubbish bin because that's top secret. Right, well, I could. you said it on the radio though, so. Now, just a reminder, what? that's you on this Friday. Yes, it is. So this is your last chance. <gasps> and Jace, Get in there Jace. And, and think about ten thousand dollars being put in your bank account. Right. Think, think about, about that. that. Think about it and do it. Just do it. Can just, we just pause while they think about it? Yes. Three, two, one. Think about it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So oh, good. Sick. Jace, just to clarify, Friday's the day after tomorrow. Yes. That's why I said two more nights. And we're doing it during our show, the big show. Obviously, Keezy. Four or seven with It's the Keezy Big Show emoji. 10K Backbone Shout. Oh, so, yeah. obviously, we're doing it in our show. Thanks, Thanks. Super Licker. Prebs isn't doing it. God, what, oh. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki.
Well, there you go, your massive backbones. That's your hump day done and dusted. Mogi, your plans for the evening, please. A hump, a hump, a burning love. I'll have some dinner. I'll probably go for a little dip in the old pool there and probably watch some more Seinfeld. Pretty heavy into the Seinfeld at the moment. Big Seinfeld guy. Big guy. Great Big stuff, Seinfeld mate. guy. What are you going to do tonight, sounds like Sounds like my kind of evening, What are you going to do, man? Look, I'll be forced into another game of Scrabble with my wife. Why? Because I... My wife! I made, a, I made a conscious decision because she loves the game so much, and for 26 years I basically have never played her. Right. So I went, you know, make an effort. Call, uh, make, make an effort, Hoity That's Joe. nice of you. Um, and so I have been. And she's been caning my ass every night. Do you night. find that you're um, improving at all? Or Not is it, really. No, good. Do you know I what thought like once it, what always seems to happen is about midway, three quarter of the way through, I'm hanging in there. Yeah. And then she blows out. Do you know what she's doing? Does she often get seven letter words? She's just really good at doing like not just one word, but like multiple yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, connections, yeah. which I don't, I don't think that way. Yeah. Um, You've got I'll, like a der brain, eh? Yeah. Then I'll throw some tin. Probably have a protein shake. All right. Make love. Hang on. Uh, Keezy, what are you doing? Uh, Tonight, going home, go for a walk with my wife, uh, make dinner, and then I'll put her to bed. Then I'll play PlayStation, have a small glass of port. We're going to walk to the car park together tonight? Yeah. So good. Yeah, man. Hey, New Zealand, thanks for taking the time to listen to the show. Pugs is on the night show tonight with Prebs, doing a laneway debrief, all right? So if you want to hear him sticking around late for it, after nine, stick around for that. It'll be good chat. Yeah, great stuff, Keezy. Thanks, man. Great remembering there, mate. Now, listen, uh, thanks for taking the time to listen to the show. Make sure you tune in same time, same place tomorrow. Until then, see you later. See ya.